This is a presentation on first appearances in criminal court provided by the Community Legal Education Association. This is general information only, not specific advice. For legal advice on your specific situation, talk to a lawyer. Police are responsible for investigating crimes, arresting suspects, and charging people with criminal offenses. Before laying a charge, police must be satisfied that there are reasonable grounds to believe that the person committed an offense. When the police charge a person, they formally accuse that person of committing the offense named in the charge. The charge is called an information and is usually sworn by a police officer. The court receives the original copy of the information against the accused person from the police. A person charged with an offense or their lawyer gets a copy of the information and so does the Crown Attorney. A person charged with a criminal offense may or may not be arrested. The police may give the person an appearance notice or they may give the person a summons requiring them to appear in court at a later date. These can be given at the scene of the alleged crime or can be served on the person or mailed to the person at a later date. An arrest warrant is obtained by the police from the court by presenting an information to the court. The police arrest a person and take the person into their custody in order to charge them with a criminal offense. The person must go with the police and have fingerprints and a photo taken. An appearance notice is given to a person who is not in custody before they are charged with an offense. A summons is given to a person who is not in custody once they have been charged with an offense. Both documents will have the date, time, and location of the court where they must appear. A person who has received either document may have to go to a police identification office before the court date to be fingerprinted and photographed. If you receive an appearance notice or summons, you should speak to a lawyer right away. You must go to the identification office of the police station to be photographed and fingerprinted at the time and place specified on your notice or summons. You will not be questioned at this time and do not need a lawyer for this. It is against the law to not go. If you are served with a summons or appearance notice requiring you to appear in court or at an identification office and you do not appear, you may be charged with another separate offense. A warrant for your arrest may also be issued. The Crown Attorney decides whether to proceed with charges against an accused person or whether to drop the charges. The Crown Attorney is required to prosecute cases fairly and to treat all parties, victims, witnesses, and the accused in a fair manner. The Crown Attorney will only proceed if there is a reasonable likelihood of conviction and it is in the public interest to proceed. Sometimes, police may issue an appearance notice for a person to attend court and submit an information for that person to be charged. However, if the charge is not approved by the Crown Attorney, then the person will not be charged with a criminal offense and the person's name will not be on the court registry list. You should check this list when you get to court so that you can see whether you have indeed been charged. In Manitoba, criminal charges may be prosecuted in the Provincial Court or the Court of Queen's Bench. Some types of offenses, called summary conviction offenses, can only be prosecuted in the Provincial Court. Some indictable offenses, including first and second degree murder, can only be prosecuted in the Court of Queen's Bench. Most offenses are hybrid offenses, which means they can be prosecuted in either court, at the choice of the Crown Attorney. If the Crown Attorney proceeds by indictment, the accused person may also have a choice as to which court to proceed in. A summary conviction offense is a less serious criminal offense. The maximum sentence for a summary conviction offense is a fine of $5,000 or imprisonment for two years less a day, or both. Summary conviction offenses are dealt with in the provincial court. An indictable offense is a more serious offense and carries a greater penalty. Indictable offenses can be dealt with in the Court of Queen's Bench or in the Provincial Court. The trial may be a jury trial in Queen's Bench or in front of a judge alone in Queen's Bench or Provincial Court. 
An accused person may be kept in custody or jail after being arrested and charged until the accused appears in court. This would usually only happen if the accused already has a criminal record or if the charge is very serious, for example, murder. A person taken into custody must be given the opportunity to appear before a court for a bail hearing within 24 hours, or as close to that time as possible, depending on the availability of a justice. A bail hearing will be held to decide if an accused person should remain in custody until trial. Bail is also called judicial interim release. The accused may be refused bail if the Crown Attorney convinces the court that the accused might not appear in court, that the accused is likely to commit other crimes before the court date, including destroying evidence or threatening witnesses, or if their release would bring the administration of justice into disrepute. If an accused is released on bail, there may be conditions, for example, obeying a curfew, not being able to possess weapons, and not being able to drink alcohol or take drugs. If the accused does not obey the conditions, they may be charged with another offense and bail can be revoked, meaning the accused will go back to jail until their court date. A surety may also be needed. This is a person who agrees to pay money into court if the accused does not show up for court or does not follow their bail conditions. You must be in court at the time specified. Many matters are scheduled for the same starting time, and you will have to wait until your matter comes up on the list. When your name is called, you will stand up and the judge or magistrate will ask questions to assess what point the proceeding is at. Your charges will not generally be dealt with completely on the first day. It will be the first of possibly many appearances, unless you wish to plead guilty. You should not plead guilty without getting advice from a lawyer first. If you do not have a lawyer, duty counsel from legal aid can help you. A legal aid duty counsel lawyer is usually in court. If you have a lawyer but you have not received particulars of the charge against you, that will happen on the first appearance. Particulars are details about your charge or charges that will include copies of the court information, police report and notes, witness statements, and criminal record. Legal Aid Manitoba has lawyers on duty at many criminal courts across the province. These lawyers are called duty counsel. They help when a person first appears in court but does not have a lawyer. If you are appearing in a court and want the duty counsel lawyer to help you, just ask if there is a duty counsel lawyer present. Most duty counsel lawyers arrive at the courtroom at least half an hour before court begins to talk to anyone who wants their help. This is a free service for people with low incomes. The duty counsel lawyer will spend as much time as needed to get the facts, discuss your case with you and the Crown Attorney, and then offer you advice. Duty counsel can tell you what will happen in court on that particular day. Duty counsel will explain your charge to you as well as any penalties or fines that could be given to you if you are convicted. You can tell your story to them and they will give you some advice about how you should plead, guilty or not guilty. Duty counsel may be able to look at the police report and tell you what it says. Duty counsel can speak to the Crown Attorney to see if there is anything you can do about the charge. For example, if you offer to pay for damage you have done, the Crown may be willing to drop the charge or recommend a very light penalty or even a discharge. If you decide to plead guilty, the duty counsel lawyer will speak to the judge for you to help the judge decide what kind of penalty or fine you should get. Duty counsel can also postpone or remand your case to give you time to get a lawyer. If your case has to go to trial, you will need to apply for a Legal Aid Manitoba lawyer. The duty counsel lawyer cannot represent you at trial. Before Legal Aid will appoint a lawyer for you, they look at whether you qualify financially and they look at how serious the charges are. Legal Aid's financial guidelines can be found on their website at www.legalaid.mb.ca. If Legal Aid will not appoint a lawyer for you because the charges are not very serious, you may still be able to get help through the Legal Aid Clinic at the University of Manitoba. If you do not qualify for legal aid, you may call the Law Phone-In and Lawyer Referral Program for information and a referral to a lawyer. 
Indigenous court workers help Indigenous people understand what happens when they have been arrested or come before a court, and help them understand their rights and what they have to do. Other people can ask for help as well. Court workers also help the judge and Crown Attorney understand the situation of the person on trial. Criminal law and criminal courts in Manitoba are governed by common law and the following main statutes. The Criminal Code, the Youth Criminal Justice Act, the Court of Queen's Bench Act, the Provincial Court Act, and the Controlled Drugs and Substances Act.